my Ready Air air spring kit. It's the 88-32110. Uh, it's for trucks without overload springs. Um, the older years here it comes with these wires that go around the bolt so you can pull the bolts through the frame. Um, I have a 2017 and it'll be mounted like this. And then there's these four carriage bolts that run through this bottom plate. And then there's these L shaped brackets here. Those go around the frame. And then there's a uh, smaller, there's four bolts there uh, for each bracket on each side. And then there's a spacer for the bump stop to lower it. Um, on the back where there's a push connect fitting, I'm gonna run the hose to a Y. And then from that Y, I'm just gonna go to a single Schrader. It comes with two, I'm just gonna use one. My trailer is a work and play. The tongue weight's quite heavy. It's almost 1,500 pounds. And I have a Kurt weight distribution hitch, but I don't like it. The ride's really rough. So I'm going to try these out. They look pretty neat. Here it is installed. All the bolts are tight. Get the bottom brackets on both sides. It went pretty quick. The only thing I don't like is this bolt, how close it is to the brake line. I think I'm gonna cut it and then put it back in. All right, this is the driver's side. The air spring installed. Here's the push connect fitting that goes to the back it uses this hole and this hole
little of it makes sense because of how the leaf springs sit. It kind of matches that angle. I'm gonna set the camera up on the side too. You can see how these um, little brackets go on in the back. They attach here, wrap around the frame. So these bolts here, they get torqued to 110, and these, these are 31, and these are 20, and then this piece here, that goes underneath the bump stop, and right here, that gets, that gets torqued to 10. After I torque everything in that order, I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. There is, everything's torqued. You're gonna need a 15 16 cross fit for this front one. You can't get a socket in there. And then here, in this, I'm gonna have to cut that just like the passenger side. I don't like how close it is to the brake line. I got a socket on that one, that one was easy. That's it, I just have to run my airline to the back. And I'll show that now. Show that later. There's my airline. I got it. Just line up into the frame. And then over the heat shield. So it comes from the passenger side over that heat shield. Over here. I gotta go into a T. This doesn't come with the kit. But I didn't want to run two straighters. And I got the back line that goes. If you can see it. All the way to the back. Where it comes to the back. And I drilled a hole there. Put washers on both sides. That didn't come with it either. But it's a. Uh, I used a 5 16 drill bit. And it fit perfect. That's where it's coming out the back. It's plastic there, so that's why I use the washers. There's no air in now. Um, I'm gonna start bringing it up about 10 PSI at a time and take a look at it. Twenty. 
it's dirty. I think I'm gonna stop there. I'm not sure how far that inner piece can come out. I'm gonna let it back down now. the dry weight of my 24 foot work and play. Alright, I'm connected. That's uh, my tongue weight. There's nothing in it. Both dump tanks are empty. My propane tank, uh, I have two of them. One's full, one's about half. Next, I'm going to set the camera up so you can see it level out as I fill up the, the air springs. All right, you can see where my bump stops are with uh, the trailer on the hitch, which is right about 1,300 pounds. I want to put 30 PSI in it again. Looks level. Yeah, that looks better. I don't need my weight distribution hitch anymore, it looks like. 